Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls. Yeah, we're kind of wrapping up the old uh, Crazy Quilt series, but I got another project for you. We're going to make this fabulous pin cushion and I think the website is called, but I'm going to go double check. Be right back. Right, it's a blog called Ivory Blush Roses. I will link in the description box. And my friend Lisa on Facebook, she was, I was in the Crazy Quilt, Yahoo Crazy Quilt group. That's how I met her. That tells you how many, many, many moons ago it was she did this project and I was like oh my gosh I gotta try that so I did and I did not actually follow the directions correctly but it still turned out look it turned out it's fine but we're gonna do better okay we're gonna do better I took one of the blocks that we pieced when I did my chain piecing and you need a nine inch circle. Well, how are you going to get a nine inch circle? You're going to measure a plate. That's why you got to know how big your plates are because someday you may have to trace around it and cut, right? Right. So you do that. Don't decorate overly much because you're going to put pins in it. You need two old CDs. You need a good piece of felt. And you just need to like... Um, you need a little bit around it because you're gonna let's see how do I want <laughs> you're gonna you'll see you'll see things shall become clearer and clearer where's my scissors really I don't want to use these scissors okay I'm gonna use my scissors bra insert and some old batting for stuffing but you can use whatever you like to use for stuffing. Okay, I'm a little perturbed about those scissors gone missing. Grr. Underneath my sign on the chair. So I'm just going to trim this. And I'm going to trim a piece of muslin to make it a little bit sturdier. That's what she did. I don't think that may not be absolutely necessary, but I'm trying to follow directions better. So I actually even filmed myself making that other one, but I don't want to mislead you. So we're just going to do it again, because, because. And voila, et voila. My scissors are right here. Remind me. Okay. Let me see. Because I want to do this right. You need strong thread. I'm using that Nymo beading thread. And 
you do the take stitches around you know so we can gather it okay I got it all the way sewed around and we're going to pull it to gather it okay let's put our insert in there. This is completely optional, but hey, I have still have them, so why not? <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah, it's our little secret that it's in there. And... This batting, I've just been like pulling it apart. You could use polyfill, you could use wool, wool roving, whatever you have, man. Make it work, people. Yeah, I'm watching Project Runway again. So we're gonna make it work. And you want it pretty full. your CD in there. side more. There we go. Okay, the next thing she did, which I'm questioning now, Her design so she must not know so she must know right okay, get this out of there she went oh I knew I should have not put that pearl there she went like this all the way around to hold it but I am just questioning whether that necessary because you're going to see she did hers like lots and lots and lots Well, I'm going to fuss with this for a minute. I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but I'll be back. Okay, I can kind of see now where she was going with that. You need to, to pull it tight. So this is where we're at. And... Okay. <laughs> this is where we're at. I gathered around the muslin and the felt for the bottom. Oh, so many threads, so many threads, situation normal. Okay, 
I'm going to pull that. Same, same. you do a couple of stitches oh, oh well I have another needle threaded so hold on here this is kind of freaky because at some point you accidentally make a pentagram. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Almost, kind of, sort of. Call that good because I'm out of thread again. So I guess I better thread another needle. Uh, shall I demonstrate my uncanny needle threading skills? <laughs> Next step, hold these together. Like so, hide that knot. And just take a little, take a little stitch and a little stitch here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put a trim, which I did not list in my things of things you need. So you're going to sew it together like that all the way around. So I'll show you on this one. See, put this on there. So. I'm going to get this sewed and then I'll find my trim and we'll do the next step. Okay, I got it all sewed. And where's my thread? Okay, so I'm going to let's see what's the right side here. Like that. I think I told myself to use a longer needle, but I, I don't think I did. I think I used the same needle. Again, it's do as I say, not as I do.
so you just sew around. You just sew around. So I'll finish that later. But I want to talk about something. I don't know if you have noticed or if you even care. I have passed 2,000 subscribers. Woo hoo hoo. So, in honor of that, I'm going to give away this first pin cushion with look at the neat pink pins that were in my needle box, in this needle box that I forgot that I had in their pink. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to give that away. I'm going to give away, I made another needle case. Look, I used the right felt. So that and that. This little journal to keep track of your crazy quiltedness or whatever. Because, you know, I do do journals too. So my new people might not know that, but my old people do. So let's throw that in there. And also, hold on, one more thing. Okay, also the remaining four blocks. This has some stuff on it already. And some trims. And I'm going to put beads in there too. I just haven't got them together yet. So there will be some threads, some lace, and some beads. Maybe a beading needle in your... <laughs> Where's my beading needle? Okay, put a beading needle in here. Maybe two. Oh, look at that. Okay, I will fix that. Rebecca didn't look at it before she... Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Why me? I don't know. Put some... fabric tack or something on it. Because it's my stupid... Chin. Oh. You know I have good intentions, don't you? My tension may be bad, but my intentions are good. Okay, let's put a, beating, a couple of beading needles in there. That's not a beading needle. Now, wait a minute. Don't let your children get a hold of this. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll just fix this up with a few needles. Also. Okay, so what you got to do is leave me a comment. Gotta be a subscriber. I think that's only fair. Um, leave me a comment. And if you could, I just don't ask this very often. Could you share this? Maybe share it with your quilting group. Or, I don't know, share any of my quilting videos with your quilting group. Or any of my other videos. I really don't care. But please... I don't ask much from you. Look what I'm giving you. <laughs> because I really do appreciate each and every one of you. But this would be a good opportunity for a beginner. Or a non-beginner. To get some of Crazy Rebecca's stash and a couple of her things. Right? 
And who wouldn't want those pins? I may push them down. I'm really mad at the Postal Service right now, but I will open this up to everybody. So, internationals, you are free to enter, but you're going to have to wait till I get my income tax back <laughs> to, so I can afford to send it. Oh, I'm so mad at the post office. I can't hardly see straight. So anyway, um, I said we were wrapping this up, but that's not really true. I just need to get some other stuff done, but I think I'm going to piece some more blocks in different colors because what the thing is I'm really tired of this pink and black so um what was I gonna say oh I'll be doing some other blocks but I'm gonna get these other quilts done and I'm gonna do the baby clothes quilt so if anybody's interested in that but I'm gonna do some other colors and we can have fun with those and I still want to show you how once you get all your blocks made how to finish a quilt your crazy quilt ball hanging or quilt or bed quilt or whatever so happy 2000s <laughs> to everybody and I'll see you in the next video whenever that may be yeah here come the train okay I forgot to say when it when I was gonna draw we will pick the winner on March 24th. So you have two weeks and one day to like and comment and share. So I guess that's all. Look at, look at, look at, this could be yours. <laughs>